Hey guys, this is my uh, second video regarding my distal bicep surgery. It's been now three weeks and a couple days since I had my surgery. Um, and I will see my physical therapist in just over a week um, to get more progress on it. Um, the last video I posted, I just had the, um, <clears throat> the kind of the soft cast, really an ace bandage with the gauze underneath it removed. Um, that was a probably a week and a half ago, and um, you know things have been progressing pretty well since then. Since um, since then, I've been able to move my arm a lot more. You can see the I can get it pretty much almost the entire way straight. Um, you know, I can touch my shoulder here, and that's not even with um, the other arm helping it. Um, as far as pronation and supination, supinating, you can see I'm pretty almost full. Pronating is a little different, not quite as far. Um, you know, I'm getting there, but not, you know, not quite as far, which is to be expected. When I first got it off, I could only pronate this far. Now I'm, I'm at this point. So um, it's getting there. Um, I'm progressing, you know, a lot more than I thought I would. I'm 55 years old, so I'm, you know, not young. So I figured the Process might be a little more, but but I'm progressing good. I am I am working out. I'm doing basically just one side. Um, I'm doing legs also quite often, but basically just doing one side, doing everything: tries, buys, shoulders, um, everything. I you know I've lost you know a lot on this side. You can see the you know the the tricep is barely firing now, as opposed to this side where you can see it's a lot more. And you know the bicep on this side's a lot bigger. Um, you know, this I can barely flex. I'm not even really trying to flex it. So there's really not much there. Um, but that that's to be expected. Um, you know, the atrophy in my shoulder actually feels good. So I'm doing what I can um, until I get clear. Again, I see my physical thera therapist on, on a little over a week. Hopefully he or she will, will get me going on more of a, you know, a, more of a program where I'm actually lifting. I'm, I'm not lifting anything at all. Um, aside from maybe a coffee cup or a plate, uh, aside from that, really nothing else. You know, because that's how I was instructed to do the search and said, don't lift anything, so I haven't been lifting anything. Um, and that's basically it. There's, it. there's not much else I can do. I'm doing range of motion stuff probably two, three times a day. Um, again, stretching it out this way, counting it back, and then really holding my arm, which they told me to do, because if you keep it out, you're not really using the biceps. So to sort of hold my arm this way, and again, doing the pronating and supinating. Doing that two, three times a day, usually 10, 10 reps or so each, and yeah, doing two to three sets. So, um, also my grip. Yeah, I still feel kind of stiffness here when I go like this. Um, I do have a gripper, which I don't have with me now, but which I use, but the grip's okay. There's really no issue with my fingers or anything like that. I have full movement of everything. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, there's not much else to do until I see my uh, physical therapist next week, and then I'm actually also going to see my surgeon uh, next week as well. So I'm seeing both next week. Hopefully I'll have a lot more um, of information from them of what I can do and what I can't do. Um, but I, it, it feels good. I mean, I have no issues. There's no pain. I was sleeping with my sling up until two or three nights ago, and I, I stopped doing that because I was afraid that I would jerk it at night. But now since I have such movement on it, I'm not really um, fearful of it. So I haven't worn the sling for the last probably three nights. Um, so I just have the sling. And again, I, I have full movement. I have really no issues driving now. I was a little concerned about driving um, because I didn't really have much use of this arm. Now I do. So driving is really not a huge issue either. So um, that's about it. I'll post something again when I know more probably in a week or two. Again, I'm just a little couple days past three weeks post-op. Probably at the four-week mark, I'll post something else. And, and you know, then I'll go from there.